Hello, welcome guys. This is Navshin Taj, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC SIT. And here I am presenting one more C programming example that is Lapset 7th A. The aim of the program is to count the number of vowels and consonants in a string. The question is simple. Just a one line question given in the lab syllabus and that is write a C program to count the vowels and consonants in a given string. So you need to accept a string and then we will be traversing the strings to find the vowels and the consonants and whenever we find anyone we have to keep track of the count of it. So let us start with the program. So we have the first preprocessor directives. We need two header files here. One is the standard input output and another is the character type. Then we have the main. In the main, coming to the local declarations, we have to declare a string with a size and then we will be using the variables integer variables one is the looping index and other two are nothing but the count variables for counting the vowels and counting the consonants both will be initialized to zero the next step is taking the input for taking input, it is simple, we need to accept a string. So we prompt the user first with a message to enter a string. Then with the help of the unformatted input function that is get us to read the string. We are reading the string here. The next step is processing. In processing, we need to traverse the string from the beginning to the end. Then for traversing, we are using the for loop. The loop begins with the first index and it checks whether each character has reached the null or not. Null is considered right as the last character of the string. So when we encounter null, we go to stop this loop. Then within the loop, the first thing is we need to check whether the current character of the string is an alphabet. Only when the character is an alphabet, then we go for checking whether that would be a vowel or consonant. So within that, we need to have one more if statement where we compare the current character with the different instances of the vowels, both lower cases and the uppercase characters. And when this if statement, any of the condition in this statement is true, then the vowel count gets incremented, else the consonant count will be incremented. So this ends with the processing. The next step is the output here the output is simple just we need to print the number of vowels that are found in the variable wow and the number of consonants that are found in the variable cons so that's about the program now let us have a look on the uh, sample output so here you can see there are two sample outputs the first uh, is the string hello in hello, you can see there are two vowels and three consonants. Here, in the second scenario, there are extra characters, which is the space. So whenever it's a space, the logic gets simply skips the character space and increments the looping index to point to the next character. So whenever the character in the string is not an alphabet, 
the index get incremented to point to the next character in the string as you can see there are three i's which are the vowels and the remaining six are the consonants so this is the output hope you will execute the program and see your own instance of the output thanks for watching